Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lily, and I'm very happy that you are here with me today. In today's video, I am going to alter a few guest checks. And since it is the month of love and friendship, what better way to showcase some beautiful red hearts? So I am going to use a few basic supplies. I grabbed a couple of acrylic paints, one in a Tuscan red and another in white chalk paint. I'm also going to use some Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. And then I also grabbed some of Tim Holtz Big Chat Word Stickers to add to my hearts at the very end. And then I also grabbed a background stamp. This one happens to be from Wendy Vecchi and it is a cracked, it's called Cracked Wall Brick and it is a great background stamp. So the very first thing I am going to do is grab my background stamp and then set it down on this glass mat and we are going to create a very subtle kind of washed um, brick look in the background. I do have another video where I did very similar and I will link that down below so you could see um, the technique for that one and that, that other video, the guest checks turned out so cute. So I am just rubbing my ink across the stamp. Now, this first print, you will see it's barely visible. It almost didn't even pick up any ink. So a little trick to this is because it is distress ink and it works really well and it act, it's activated by water, I took a light mist over the stamp, press it down, lift it, and now you get some of that color pulling through onto the guest check. And what's really nice about this is I don't want a solid or an even look on the guest check. I want it distressed and I want it to, to pick up more in some areas. So notice how I didn't re-ink it. I just spritz, spritzed a little bit more water and that will pull more of that ink. And that is exactly the look that I'm going for. I'm going to pull a third one. And again, I didn't re-ink it. Just by spritzing a little bit of water, it activates the ink. A little bit of ink goes a long way in this case. And I'm sure I could keep pulling more if I just add and spritz a little bit more water. But for the sake of the video and for the sake of time, I'm just going to clean it up. And again, just super easy clean, clean up, just spritzing a little bit of water and I'm taking my dry cloth and cleaning it up. I'm now I'm being very mindful and careful here not to shake the table because I am on a foldable or a mobile table. It's kind of shaky and so I'm trying to be very careful so you don't get a lot of movement. Now I did also stamp some background stamps off camera. So these I'm just going to quickly dry. It is a very light ink. So I'm just going to quickly dry these. It's not going to take very long to do that. And the next step is to draw the hearts. So I grab my little uh, paint dish and I'm just going to add a little bit of this beautiful Tuscan red acrylic paint. And this one is by the brand Americana. It is a beautiful deep red. Now, I thought about using other shades of red and even some pinks and some turquoise. I love a lot of color. I love working with color, especially shades of turquoise and aquamarine blue. But red is a color I don't work with very often. I love it, absolutely love it. And so this is a perfect time to use it and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now, for demonstration purposes, I am I just grabbed a pencil to outline my heart and then also showing you the paintbrush that I'm using. Now, I'm using this one not because it was intentional, just because it's what I reached for and it just happens to be a round number one paintbrush. But I would have used any paintbrush if it was within reach. This one just happened to be close. So if you don't want to freehand your heart, just do a very light outline of the heart shape and then just follow it with your paintbrush. I'm doing the best I can. I actually haven't worked with paint in a while and so I am a little bit rusty, but it doesn't matter. These are 
whimsical little hearts. They look they look kind of, you know, wonky and a little bit lopsided. They're not even, but that's not the look I'm going for. I want it to look handmade, hand created, and and I achieve that. <laughs> so let's let me set perfection out of the way here. Now, if you're feeling confident and daring and bold, you don't need a pencil. Just go ahead and paint your heart. In fact, my hearts turned out better without using the pencil. And I think I was struggling with that first heart, trying to stay within the lines, where without the hand-drawn lines, I can be more free. I don't have to follow any lines. And, and the heart turns out just as great. I like the look of long hearts. Not big round ones, though those are beautiful too, but my heart preference are the, the long the longer looking hearts like this one. Now I'm using a lot of acrylic paint and that's because I want there to be texture on these hearts. I want to I want for the brush strokes to be visible. So they're not flat at all and I'm being generous with the amount of paint that I am picking up with the paintbrush. This one also turned out really nice. I think this was my favorite heart again and that's because I didn't use the pencil. I think the pencil was trying to keep me in line and I'm not I'm not a color um color in the lines person. I am coloring outside the lines, you know, and so this works much better for me. But you do what you're comfortable with, okay? Aren't they great? I love how bold this color is. It is gorgeous. I love it. I think I need to start using a lot more red in my projects. Now I'm working on a few new junk journals and I am already incorporating a lot of red elements, elements, I like to say it like that, into the junk journal. So I think it's going to, it's going to lean more towards, towards that deep shade of red. So we'll see how they turn out at the end, but you will see in the future, um, hopefully within the next week or so, I'll be able to do a flip through and you'll pick up on a lot more red, which I don't typically use because I stay, I stay more towards, I love chartreuse, neon green, and also the aquamarine shades, but, but I'm trying to expand my palette, you guys, with colors that, that I love. Okay, so now for time's sake, I'm setting those others aside so they can dry. And I brought in some that I did off camera, okay? So now I am going to add a little bit more acrylic paint. But I'm going to do some splatters. So adding some of this great chalk paint, I love it. And spritzing a little bit of water and I'm gonna mix it with that same paintbrush. I have a jar of water sitting on the side and so I cleaned out my brush and I'm wiping it on that towel on the left hand side. So now I'm just going to stir up that white paint with the water. Make it kind of runny. Not too runny. So start, if, you're, if you are going to do this to add some white splatters, start with a little bit of water at a time until you get it to a fluid consistency. But you don't want to water it down too much because then it'll be too diluted and you won't, or the, the splatters won't be as visible. So just a little bit at a time until, until you just get it to the right consistency. It'll take, if you are new to this, it will take a few times to, to get it um, the way you like, the way I like. So it's okay, play with your paint and, and uh, experiment with different consistencies. So now, very carefully, we are going to tap and splatter onto the paper, and I'm being intentional. I want a lot of those splatters to be directly onto the red hearts. By the way, I recommend doing this on either large sheet of craft paper or magazines or newspaper, whatever you have, or even a box, a splatter box, because I didn't do that, and I actually got splatters all over the place. As careful as I was being, I ended up with little white splatters all around. So be careful with that. 
And I do have a splatter box, actually. It is a big boot box, and I've shown that in the past. It's a, I, I bought some cowboy boots a few years ago, and I kept the box because it is a perfect size for using, for use as a splatter box, except it, that's where I'm holding all of my scraps right now, all of my baggy scraps of paper. <laughs> so I couldn't grab it to use it. Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Now this doesn't take very long to dry, but I went ahead and grabbed my, my drying tool, my heat tool, and just kind of going over it just really quick to get it dry, just so that it doesn't spread. But I recommend, you know, taking your time in between layers, or if you're going to work on multiples, set some aside so they can dry and work on new ones and just rotate those around. But they're dry enough right now so I can add some of my big chat stickers. And I'm just going to choose a word here and there. These are perfect because you can use single words or you can make entire phrases with these. Now these are super sticky. These aren't very old. I buy these a lot because I use them a lot in my projects. But I wanna make sure they don't fall off, especially because I am sticking them onto the acrylic paint. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the tacky glue just to make, sh just to make certain that they really stick down. By the way, if you are interested in seeing a list of all of the things, well, not all of the things, but a majority of the supplies and tools that I use, on a daily or on a regular basis in my projects. I do have an Amazon affiliate link, which is in the description down below. And so I invite you to go take a look at that, even if it's just so that you can get information as to some of the supplies that I use. The stickers are there, the guest checks are there, and a few other things if, you, if you'd like to go and peruse that link. I do have to let you know that if you do make a purchase using my link, I do earn a small commission, but it doesn't affect you in any way whatsoever. But if you do make a purchase, thank you in advance. Look at how nice these come together now that I've added the single words. And again, you can use, you can make entire sentences if you want to. I love how these are turning out. Now, they do need a little bit more contrast. So I am going to add some ink to the edges and I'm using Vintage Photo and just lightly going around the edges of the paper. And I think that it frames the guest check and so it just kind of brings everything together and it really makes your hearts stand out and make that a very vivid focal point. And so you can see the difference between the two. And notice how the background on, the, on these is very subtle and I like that. You could see that it's there and I love the way that looks the heart with the, the brick background. It's just so beautiful, almost like graffiti. That's what these look like, you guys, like street art. Whoa. Not that I'm going to go graffiti or vandalize any brick walls, but this is, this is my extent of wall art right here. These would make perfect Valentine cards, you guys. But I'm actually creating these to add to the junk journals that I'm working on. They are going to be a beautiful addition to those. So right now I'm actually working on building a lot of my junk journal embellishments, journal cards, envelopes, ephemera, all of that to add to those, to the junk journals. If you, if you are interested in knowing what junk journals I am working on, I will link that video down below because I did create a video showing how I make covers. And so that information will also be listed down below. Now sitting on my desk because I have been using this Heidi Swap um, Color Shine Spray on a lot of projects, I just reached for it and I am just lightly spritzing more like droplets. So I'm not pressing down on the nozzle all the way, I'm being intentional as to the amount of gold shine I want on these hearts. I would normally open the cap and then use the little stick inside to kind of, um, what is it, a splatter, the gold shine, 
but it is, it's, it's shut. I tried to unscrew and I, I just can't do it. So that's why I'm kind of being gentle with the way I squeeze that trigger to try to get some droplets out and look at how beautiful these look. So I'm bringing in some of those other ones that I made off camera because I didn't add gold shine to those. I love how these look, you guys. They look like street art to me and I love the way these look. These are so beautiful. So I hope that you find inspiration from this project and you grab some acrylic paints and grab some guest checks. If you don't have guest checks, you can use tags and you can use scraps of paper. Grab what you have, shop your stash, pull out those supplies and let's get messy, you guys. Just lay down some paper so that you don't get this stuff all over your table and especially all over your own clothing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.